Well, hello everybody and welcome. Monty here, more Battletech. Uh, we are in part two of the flashpoint of the Davion Alliance, uh, the one that says that it required some light mechs in the future. We shall see. We're still going in heavy. Uh, this is part two with the uh, beachhead secured. Remember, we took over the uh, operations tower or something like that last time. Uh, but this time it is time to start moving against the Compellens uh, here on Kern. Uh, there are multiple potential targets in the area. But before we discuss them, we need to clear the field. Our technicians have extracted the force deployment data from the base computers, and we know that there are two heavy lances of mechs on patrol right now. Two heavy lances. Somewhere on the other side of the river. Uh, you'll get in by Leopard and sweep the woods. Eliminate any Capellan units you uncover. Okay, so I'm glad we're going heavy. Now, by heavy, do they mean assault as well? We'll see. Command interface initiated. You know what's interesting is I didn't get to choose and negotiate the scrap, so I guess that scrap choice that I made is going to be the same for every mission, which I think I did like. I get a pick six and take like 14 or 15. Anyway, here we go. Commander, you're entering the area where the stolen deployment data indicated the lances were patrolling. That's confirmed, Commander. I'm seeing hostile mechs just on the other side of the ridge. Uh, watch for flanking actions around the right side. I'm also seeing en engine signatures off to the left. Enemy mechs moving up through the forest cover. Clear out these patrols, Commander, while I assemble a briefing on our next targets. Good luck. Oh, okay, so we are here. They have enemies way up to the right. Across a ridge. Uh, first off, let's get the mech's point of view here. Wow, beautiful landscapes. Just fantastic. I forget that right-click moves me right to that point. So it said that there were some enemies off over here. I do believe... What's cool is in that little preview, we get an actual v visual of it. So um, I'm glad I paid attention, and I'm going to roll out left, I do believe. So let's get this started. Glad to have everyone along today, so let's go. Well, Commander, we're moving to the left, as we said. To the left. To the left. Oh, guys, urban warfare is so close. It's so close around the corner. I can't even... Right. I can't. I can't even can't, Moving right? I mean, that's that's a lot of double negatives, but... Uh, yeah, it's good times, good times. I'm excited. Uh, have you seen the trailer? If not, I'm going to... Post it in the comments section of this YouTube video, and if I don't, somebody yell at me. But it should be up there. I might even pin the thing. That's how. That's how for reals I'm getting. We're I, and I mean, we're seriously gonna go to the left here. And ooh, can we jump? We can, but I wouldn't call that a jump. I'd call that a like a hop. We can hop a little bit. Moving to position, Moving to position everybody. Uh, I want to hide left. I know we got these forces coming on in. I'm probably putting ourselves in a little wedge right in the middle. Not the good kind of wedge. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be all right. I'm just excited to keep continuing on, continuing on. Because, you know, love me some Battletech. But this has definitely been that flashback into that 3025 era, which I'm all about. You know, it's where it all started. But anything that's moving the timeline of forward... I'm a happy about, so I'm kind of curious about what urban warfare is going to do in uh, those terms. I mean, I mean, I can tell it's not going to be like all of a sudden, you know, 30, 50 plus, and you know who from you know where is coming to poke us in the you know what's. It's it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Stupid test tube babies. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna deal with it. Uh oh. So we do have the second Capellan Patrol. Why you have to say it that way is uh, beyond me. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm actually looking down and I totally understand why it's this big old moonstruck mocha. Because I like my fancy chocolates. And uh, yeah, I'm a horrible person. Go to the dentist, get all cleared. No cavities, you good? So I'm like, sweet. Now um, point me in the direction of the chocolate fountain. 
You guys don't know? You, your dentist yeah. office doesn't have a chocolate fountain? I don't know. I'm just rambling now because we got to figure out what and who is up here. Look at this. We know they're about our weights. All four are dropping in in our uh, number twosies. And uh, I'm going to throw down a sensor lock on 8080-6580. Who's up front? Just got a lock. Victor 9B. The problem is, is we're going to get flanked, I have a feeling, in a super hard kind of way. Bringing some missiles and lasers, which is usually what you do in a I game of Battletech. Um, let's see. I know I'm going to have a nice little bonus here on that dude. Whoa. You know what? We might get lucky here. I'm going to do a precision strike and try to pop ourselves a thunderbolt. Uh, because... Uh, do I want to? 18% chance and I'm firing so much stuff. A lot of heat. Remember, got to maintain the heat. This ain't no tabletop quick play. And we're looking at trees. But lots of numbers. The head was hit. Pilot was injured. Hopefully he rolls a critical. No, that's not going to happen. It'd be cool if he just decided, hey, I'm going to eject. Get the heck out of Dodge. Looks like we got ourselves another victor. Monty's holding on tight in his Atlas too. I'm still curious what kind of lost tech we're going to be getting. Uh, in this whole situation here, if I go there, but if I go here, I'm walking here. in the black night, uh, how did we do on that attack? We did a lot to that torso, which has the LRM-10s, lasers. What do we have in this arm? Nothing. Left arm has got a lot of nothing, so if we take out the torso, yeah, we're going to just keep firing at him. Ooh, that was a direct shot to the left torso, but we did not knock it off. Hopefully, he yeah, knocked down. Another pilot injury, so that's two. You guys keeping count? That's dos. And we're really just walking in blind here, kind of making up for our last flashpoint uh, where we allied with... Uh, the wonderful Davian Alliance, and then we were like, "Yo, you guys got a, you guys got an evil Take dude doing the dirty deeds," and we went and dealt with that. Well, hello. Is that a is that a, a quick draw? I didn't look. He's got the little antennae. Can't take much more of this. Really? We just started battling here, so. Oh no! There comes that rear. Threes. I'm going to keep pushing through, and uh, we're going to definitely roll up on these guys hard. They 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 got a nice spot here, unfortunately. Uh, I'm there. Highlander's kind of far back in the game, but what I'm going to be able to do is get a free targeted shot on that torso. Only 28% chance we missed. Looked like a centered torso shot. 45 all to armor. You guys correct me. If I'm wrong, I'm sure that uh, you folks will. By the way, do appreciate it. This episode is brought to you by the voting on the Twitters at Monty Games. You guys picked uh, what you wanted me to record next. It was between this and some Ostrov and Dawn of Man and some Tropical 6. Tropical. I was going to say Tropical 4. Boy, I just did a flashback. Uh, Highlander, like I said, I want to keep on pushing on through here. I know we've got these big boys here, so I want to throw down another precision strike. It is a quick draw. On the victor here, that's going to be an overheat warning. What if I drop off an ER large? Just destroy him. Oh, 120. I want that AC-20 headshot, and it would be all over. We hit him, and we destroyed an arm. I think we destroyed... Nope. He's got the cannon in the other arm. Hello, quick draw. Oh, interesting. Went after the Black Knight. I thought for sure they would continue the pounding on the Atlas. 
GV, you want to go get a little revenge there? Or no, 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 no. We need to go... We're doing good on heat, right? Yeah. I want us to continue working on 105. It's going to be tough. Overheat alert. Fire. Ah. We're starting to go critical, but that miss was really unfortunate. However, LRM ammo. Ammo explosion killed the pilot. Ammo explosion for the win. Love that one. So that, I do believe, it could be a full salvage, but come on. Do we really want more Thunderbolts? I know i am uh, got a little bit of a mech hoarding problem. You should see the warehouse in the Argo. Uh, hmm. We still all that PPC action. I think I'm going to spot up behind the Atlas. No friendly fire. Good thing. Uh, and I'm going to just drop down the pain, the punishment, the Saber Wolf Fury on the 9B. I saw some crits. There you go. There you go. AC-20 bloated it up. I love it. Ammo explosion. Knocked down. This is going to be another pilot injury because I am Captain Obvious. We don't need no stinking notifications. All right, damage reduction, only 20%. Boy, that right side's taking those threes. I'm going to keep pushing around, maybe get behind these rocks and kind of bring it up around. Yeah, the plans are in place. Let's see, how far can you jump? All right. It's going to cause some heat problems. When I was playing some tabletop uh, the other weekend, and uh, heat, heat was heat's a real thing. Boom. No. Boom. Pow. Hmm. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. All right. Almost uh, had to take a quick drink of coffee and almost pulled a Murph and muted my mic. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say this guy because I can pick my targets. I'm going to let the heat fly. And uh, achievements. Lethal damage. Pilot. Head destroyed. Uh, that was our 50th assault mech that has dropped, and that's pretty much all in this one campaign. We have really been continuing on, and I'm hoping Urban Warfare, we're going to keep on going with the Monty's Mavericks and just uh, roll it on out. I am, you know, once all the DLCs hit, and all all is well and done in the world of Battletech and MechWare, uh, you know, I, I'll consider modding out my Battletech and doing all of those things. But right now, we have the second Capellan Patrol that needs to pop. And luckily, we're not running all locusts in our light mechs, because that would have been uh, a thing. A thing of things. Do we precision strike the quick draw in the face? I say yes. Engaging Miss. Target. Come on, headshot. Nope. That is embarrassing. Whoa! Calm down, earthquakes. I know I'm in the westy of the coasts, but uh, we don't need none of that. that mm, interest. Oh no! Black Knight down! Black Knight down! GV. Commander, I'm wounded. I, I'm gonna. I uh, didn't really want to do this. What is? Ready for orders. Sable Wolf is ready. Hmm. Gonna be a little bit of a cooldown turn. So we don't need to fire all the PPCs. Man. Just for funsies, you get some LRMs. Ooh! Just glad that one PPC connected. 20% damage reduction. Did not help our cause. There's going to be... Oh, the threes on the guy who's down on the ground. That was some internals. Armor breach. Internal damage. All right, GV. Get on up. Yes, 
I don't like their targeted shots, so... Man, heat is a problem. So we're going to go... Calm down, cool down. Throw some feats. Alright, Victor for some shots. Shots, alright. Ronin coming on in here. Mm, good news too, by the way. Tomorrow is going to be uh, Friday the 10th. Uh, I took off for uh, recording, so I'm going to get at least a few episodes recorded. And uh, depends on how everything else I get going. But uh, those are the plans. So, uh, you know, hit me up on those social medias and the, the likes. I'm definitely starting to guide the likes of the videos uh, as to what I've re been recording, which has kind of slowed down Battletech, to be honest, guys. So if you do like it, make sure you're throwing that thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, I do appreciate that. Oh, let's see. Should we... Mm. How is he doing there? Look at that, still maxed out. How how are we doing for a headshot? 2% chance. We're going to do... A, uh, uh, da -da Precision strike to the center torso of the quick draw. All right. He's got no more right side. Still more mech than I would like to leave behind. Oh. Ah, oh, dang, armor shot. Really got to get uh, GV out of this. No Decker. At least we got Monty along here, but... Bringing a lot of Kickstarters when we can. We haven't even gone after the main patrol... All right, GV's going to be good. Monty needs to cool off, so I'm going to just go in for... I can't? Wow. All right. I was going to go in and punch somebody, but the quick draw definitely put himself in a safe position. Uh, pretty, actually, a, a good, decent flanking position. Uh, no large lasers, and... Um, Ugh, seven shots left on my AC-20. Fire. Come on, get that arm off there. Ooh, head hit. That was a bonus. Didn't even... Didn't even target it. All right, here we go. Melee attack. Actually, probably have some good rear armor left, so... That is good news. GV... Uh, is actually doing good with, uh, uh, heat because of that last melee a turn. So I just need to get him a little bit more out of the battle. I'm going to say no PPCs and fire. There we go. One more mech of the second Capellan patrol. What are you guys thinking um, is going to be the third and final... Well, we don't know final, but the third part of the first season of expansions for uh, Battletech. You know, we had Flashpoint, we're going to have Urban Warfare, and then, I don't know, what, Clan Invasion or something like that? I don't know. You tell me what you guys think is going to be heading our way. I'm excited to hear your thoughts. Okay, I'm on it. As we walk through the heat... Ooh, nice little leprechaun there. Wow, look at that. Failed to save screenshot. I have never seen that icon before. That was, uh, what am I, out of memory? I hit the uh, good old F12 button. It was like, -nah -nah. it said screenshot shot saved, and then it said screenshot failed to save. So maybe it's because I was like, double, double pounding. These guys with their far distant... Ooh! PPC action is... They still went after GV. I've moved him way out of range. 
At least that evasion helped. Ooh, look at that 60% damage reduction. Drop those down to 20. I'm really surprised he hit with both. The sensor lock is, is what's killing me here. Ooh, that was some AC action, some ballistics. And uh, Monty. Cool down, buddy. Boom. Right leg? Good. I remember from the camera that the left leg was quite hurt, but we already know we have one pilot. I wasn't counting. That's number two. Uh, GV, I want to keep rolling out. Are you guys serious right now? Man, those right side threes. Not much armor left in that location. If only the Blazers could right. shoot right threes. All right, here we go. We're going to step on him while he's down and fire the small lasers. Might as well. Targeting for physical attack. Seven, oh, 95. All internal. It's still not enough for the kill, so maybe the small lasers will do the job. No, they don't. Order. Mm. Get into position. I know, I know. Go for the kill, Monty. Go for the kill. Where are they? Uh, sensor lock? Look at us. I've got a sensor lock. Is that a dragon? The dragon. Man, you guys watching some of that Game of Thrones? I, I was never into it. I'm not going to lie. Uh... I mean, why would I? It's not like... Anyway. But uh, finally started watching it like last October, November. Binged it. And I'm actually caught up with it as it happens. And um, spoilers, I was the one who put the Starbucks cup in the uh, the frame. Because, you know, we got to do what we got to do. Just kidding. Well, obviously. I mean, come on now. Um, But no, it's it's, it's all right. I'm I'm down with it. It's pretty fun. So you do, do we need the large laser? I mean, do we need all of this? Um, wait, how is it on the heat? Yeah, we'll just get rid of the large laser. The there we go. See, just enough. <clears throat> all right, all those eights are a little extra, so maybe that was a little bit more than just enough. But hey, I held back, right? No large laser? That's an improvement. Baby steps. Baby steps. We got a 60 ton. We got a 55. What? Guys. Buildings and such. Uh, Saber Wolf. Let's see about sprinting here and just facing up. I'm hoping he's going to be a target, is what I'm going for. He's got high evasion from the sprint. Nah. I would prefer a little bit more than the 20% cover, but I'll take it. Now, you guys see, Monty's going to be able to post up. And... Get a little payback. Should I do something crazy? And do like... A precision strike in the head on the Banshee from across the field. Oh, I just want one shot to hit. Just enough to get a little pilot injury. Yep. I'll take it. Um, I don't want to get out in front of everybody. Location confirmed. However, I am very frustrated at all the shots being taken at me, so... Through the forest and over the hills. Oh man, I'm reading a I'm reading a book. It's uh, <laughs> it's an interesting one. One of the BattleTech books. I'm, sure I'm not just reading a family. book. Uh, and it's it's the one where the the, the Draconis Combine are like. They get lost, and then, like, later in the future, and more of them get lost, and they happen to get lost on the same planet, and there's, like, bird 
people and uh, uh it's it's an, it's it's interesting it's 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 uh it's got some flavors and yeah yeah you guys know what it's called you guys know um all right precision strike the banshee in the center torso mm, nope left torso 50 percent chance i'll take that because I have round up. It's got a PPC. <clears throat> Ooh. That was a bonus. If I would have targeted the head, I don't think I would have hit it. All I got to do is knock him down, and I think we'll uh, take that Banshee out, which we've got a brother Banshee coming up over the ridge. That was intentional. Not much armor left in that All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm going to bring you in some support. Oh, a little Wolverine trying to be all cool and join in the fight as he crits my blackjack. Ooh. I do believe that could be GV's second shot. Uh, Monty, come on in. Post on up. And let's precision strike the Wolverine in the head. Come on, one of those is going to hit. Welcome to the fire show, Wolvie. Enemy mech. Critical damage. Really was hoping to alpha just pop him. I see your threes. Look at him all wobbly wobbly. Ready for orders. Oh, so wobbly. Uh, we are going to have to post back a little bit. Do a little moonwalk action there. Get a little heat action here. And, ooh, 18% chance coming from Saberwolf. Oh, I thought that one was going straight to the face. Turning his cockpit blue. Standing by. Uh, I'm going to go wide here. I definitely think they're going to be coming after GV pretty hard, so I need to drop... Oh, 31 points. Are you serious? I'm going to put... You get the PPC and the better... Oh, what happened here? Do I not have... Oh, okay. Uh, I actually want him to get... Ooh, do, 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 do. All right, that one for good luck. Multiple enemies locked in. Noise! Left torso and arm destroyed. That's what I was hoping to do earlier. Come on, medium lasers. Get in there. One more to that center torso and it's going to pop. I deserve a drink of my mocha. Oh, my goodness. A little, little crazy today. little crazy today. Look at a little pile of mechs down there in the bottom left. Looking good. I'd take a screenshot, but I'm worried it would fail. Yes, I can't handle failure. It's just sad. All right. I think I'm running into the woods. I mean, come on now. One with the squirrels. Um, Banshee. Fire. Engaging target. All but the small lasers. And trust me, if I was close enough, I would probably fire them. Ooh. That hit something good. <sighs> you? Speaking of you, have you guys played U-Boat? Oh my goodness, that's pretty cool. I was watching Snaggles play a little bit of that yesterday. I remember watching Captain Snaggles play some Battletech on his, uh, yep. what is Strategy Sundays on his stream? Yeah, that's right. I'm name dropping. Rolling. Uh oh, really? Black Knight. This is is this like strategy, Monty? I I would say no. I would say not strategy. Um but Monty's got a nice shot here. No PPC. No precision strike. Just ooh. He's got 80 points left. I should precision strike it. You know what? It's just these guys. Let's do it. 
Come on, I needed as many to go center torso as possible and got just enough. I think one more miss and he'd still be standing. Actually, I forgot all I really needed to do was knock him over, and I think it would have finished him off with all the uh, pilot injuries. Man, if only I could paint miniatures as good as these mechs look. Mm, precision strike, Banshee in the head. No ER large laser, fire. That AC-20 will shoot someone in the face. There we go, that pulse. Unfortunately, that 40% uh, damage reduction, I think, uh, Waiting for order. saved his day. Put myself in range of that dragon, which is no good. And this is going to be super hot. With a lot of twos, not good enough, but a knockdown. Mama likey. Uh, these trees got all quite the lean to them. Must be the planet's just spinning really, really fast, and the trees are like, ah, no. Let me dream. Warning. Let me dream. I'm receiving you. Um. Oh, one-handed killed a gnat because I didn't want to smack it because it would be loud in the microphone. You guys don't know. I'm like a gnat killer. Um. Oh, really? Now I don't have no money for some precision strikes. <sighs> Fire. All right. I don't like you with all your limbs. Let's destroy some components. And we're going in full speed now. Monty's like... Tired of hiding behind the hill is this big old atlas. They're just all happy to have their parts. Because again, this is part two. I have no idea what else this flashpoint uh, shall bring. Ooh, that's woods up here. No, 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 no. Monty, you go there. You aim at that. I'm telling you, I want my... AC-20 with its four shots left to do a little something something. Yeah, PPC crit. Enemy mech. Critical damage that was way too order. much spread. I'm there. This is just a really mess with his mind. Fire. Beautiful PPC shots. Ooh, side torso destroyed, pilot injured, the knockdown might kill him. Ah, no. I thought I had a headshot on this guy earlier, but he might handle four shots. You never know. Could be uh, stronger than we realize, but this multi-target is going to do me fine. Um, mm, That's going to be too hot. All the nice weapons go to uh, B. He gets all the junk. Ah, oh, all armor. What, I shoot the one leg that had armor left? Just letting this guy know. I know he's there. Oh, I'm worried about GV. He should be lucky I'm saying that, not just going, I'm worried about my Black Knight. Because, uh, not gonna lie. The mechs are, uh, they're, they're, they're a little something special. They are definitely a little something special. Ronan's just doing a little show off. Just trying to show the dragon I might flank him. Just letting him know he needs to pay attention. He best watch himself. That's still an overheat warning, eh? Not really worth the precision strike either, so I'm just gonna go like that. Roger that. I think I might have gotten a lucky headshot there. No, I didn't. All right. Didn't like that right leg anyway. Let's 
So far, so good, until, like, all of a sudden it's going to be like, reinforcements are arriving, you must fight eight more mechs. Yes, Commander. Ah, uh, that's when I'm going to go, well, it's been fun. Commander. Move on out. Saber World almost in a rear arc. I'm definitely kind of actually coming after this guy at the wrong angle. Uh, but it is what it is. Ooh, now all the angles are the right angle. Hmm. Man, I'm hot right now. Let's, uh... I'm ready. Nope, Monty. Just, just, uh, let's see what we got here. Fire. Engaging target. Man, 72 point damage. That 40% damage reduction. He needs to move out of those woods. Just gotta Detective. knock him over one mo time. This is playing it safe. You're gonna thank me later, GV. Thank, thank me later. Thank you. I'm gonna thank you now, though. You can thank me. Back at the Argo, Ronan. I would like you to get in the grass, Moving out. give you a little uh, evasive point, and uh, show them we're still not playing around. Ooh, large laser. That's too much. That's fine. Really good heat uh, management on this map. We are in the structure. That is a really nice paint job on that uh, dragon. Atlas can handle threes all day long. Oh no, the power lines! Uh, I'm gonna start a uh, forest fire. Slight damage. Hold in firms. All right, who's gonna get the kill? Monty's gonna just come running up like a bad one. He's got two chunks of ammo left. Precision strike the dragon in the face. Fire. There it was. Head destroyed by the AC-20. If only it was the last bullet. I think it would have been even better. But there we go. That's the last of them, Commander. We're in control of the area, and we can begin planning our next move. <laughs> I'll have a briefing for you on all the available targets once you're back aboard your ship. Thank you, Alexandria. Cunningham. Ah, uh, well, that was an uneventful mission. I mean, for us, anyway. It didn't go so well for those Capellans. Pay out 640k. I will take that. Um, yeah. Look at that. The Black Knight got uh, quite beat up. I'm definitely bummed that the Atlas got a little bit of internals. I mean, barely. Barely got into the structural damage. Actually, there's almost no structure left. Now that I look at it. That was almost a really bad kill in the rear, now that I look at that. Wow. Well played, guys. Um, and then those two injuries for 26 days out for uh, our GV. But he got all the kills. Look at that. Boom. Showing up. Uh, I'm definitely going to take a Banshee 3M because, I mean, that's just money. Uh, let's see. Anything else cool? I, I don't even know if we have an, a Victor 9B. Uh, I know we don't have any pieces put away, but I'm going to take an LRM 10 with plus 2 damage. Ooh. Uh, okay, medium lasers. Oh, you know me. I love my small lasers with special stuff. That is a comms system plus plus. Wow, there were some good drops here. Yeah, two pluses on a comm system plus three resolve gain. I mean, come on now. Yes, and we got lucky and we got another piece of Banshee anyway. And we still got our LRM 10. Uh, and a leg mod plus plus. Oh man, we haven't even gotten our lost tech yet. Sorry if I was a little quiet there. I just realized I'm like kind of away from the microphone as I'm talking about the salvage 
getting a little lazy. You know, I just called it in for the end of this episode, I guess. God, what am I? What am I? I can't reference the uh, Starbucks cup again, can I, for Game of Thrones? I am. It's because I have a coffee cup in my hand. It's not actually Starbucks, though. So no free advertising to you on my channel, Starbucks. I mean, I, wait. I mean, I guess I just said their name a few times, so that's kind of the... They win. They got me. All right, here we go. Mech chassis complete. Banshee. Yep, we know. Davian Alliance 2, high orbit. Kern. Corn on the Kern. Uh, everything is progressing smoothly, Commander Rico. I'm quite pleased with your results so far. As I mentioned, we're fully in control of the region and ready to proceed to the next stage of the operation. However... This is where I defer to your judgment as a field commander. There are two potential targets we could strike, but as you're the expert, I leave the choice to you. All right, let's hear them. First, there's the logistics base that is key to keeping any local military force operational. Uh, if we destroy it, the Capellans will have to resupply from orbit. There's no way to attack this base covertly. However, once you begin your approach, the base's defenders will be alerted. Hmm. No local supply will make uh, defending this planet a huge pain in the butt. Uh, logistically speaking, anyway. I like it. Second, there is a reinforced bunker and armory. The last of the original fortifications on this world. Currently, this is in use as a command center for local forces, but during a planetary invasion, it could easily be refitted back to its original purpose, at which point it would effectively become impregnable. How the hell would we crack something like that? You won't. If Commander Riku chooses that target, we'll be assaulting the bunker with an orbital strike. Love it. However, we'll need to find the bunker before we can destroy it. That means a detour to a Capellan communications facility to access its data and locate the bunker. Ooh, fancy. <clears throat> In either case, the real objective is to cause enough damage that Lieutenant Colonel Song is obligated to come deal with the problem, which will allow us to strike at them directly. Whatever target you choose needs to be significant enough to pose a real threat to the Capellan operations. Ooh, folks, so there we go. I like it. Uh, I wish I could just quit right now and uh, and save. But I, I am, because I'm going to leave this choice up to you. I'll figure out how to do it. But uh, so either, so so we either go in guns blazing to take out the logistic base, or we sneak into the comms base to help set the target for an orbital strike. Uh, that about sums it up. What do you think, Commander? What do you guys think? Flashpoint decision. Do we attack the logistics base, going all hard, which we kind of do a lot, to be fair, or do we sneak into the comms base? The bunker seems like a real threat here, and an orbital strike is significant enough that Song won't be able to ignore it. So... Um, choices that I leave to you in the comments of the YouTube-verse. And, uh, Sumire Mayor, we will get back to you next time. And, uh, you folks out there in, uh, YouTube land, thank you all for tuning in. And, uh, again, shout out on the, uh, Twitter folks for voting for more Battletech Flashpoint. Uh, on my little at Monty Games, uh, Twitter account. So, uh, you guys... Keep on keeping on. I'm going to catch you next episode of uh, gaming and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the comments. And I will make sure. I got to remember, I'm reminding myself now. I'm going to post the trailer for Urban Warfare in the comments. Very cool. Check it out. Really neat. Um, yes, the buildings look huge because, you know, mechs are pretty big. But anyway, we're going to be fighting around in the cities of Urban Warfare. Anyway, it'll be cool. And I'm looking forward to it. And that's coming out, I think, in June. So uh, you guys take care. Catch you next time. Peace.